Hello, welcome to another short video um, about the Flare network. Uh, so right now we will deploy our first smart contract to the Flare uh, test network. I already created a video where I was showing how you can get started. So you can see here I've got the I'm connected to the Costa network. I do own 99.9 .9, uh, Flare. And yeah, basically you can see this that I'm connected right now and we will deploy our first smart contract. So I'm a complete beginner regarding smart contracts. I also just started today, like getting a little bit into it. Um, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but right, so let's start. So we can see here, I will link the website. It's remix.thefirm.org. It's basically an IDE, so a web IDE where you can write your own smart contracts. And I do have here, I copied the easiest example that exists from the documentation. So we'll also link that one. Uh, so up there, there was the example. Um, but yeah, well, let's call it, we can still call it simple storage. We can basically store, we can decide to store any data type, for example, string, let's call it uh, whatever name. We will say that we want to store a string. So it's basically text and we will, uh, create uh, the option to edit that. So we'll t uh, completely change the string now. So before it was, as we could see, integer, but now we can set our smart contract, basically stores uh, a name and I can set the name and get the name. And it's nothing too fancy here, basically. So anybody can change it as well. Um, but now I have a uh, contract here. So I'm on the files. Then, uh, so you can create a new file if you click on the file as well. We'll do that with you as well. So click on the file. I can just create a new contract, new, uh, well, I'll call that one xpdev.sol for solidity. Uh, I will copy and paste what I just changed here. And then I will have to compile the contract. So we'll click on compile. We can see that I already made my first mistake because I did not. Oh, string name. Well, I guess I have to string public name. Yeah, I still have to get used to like how all of this works, I guess. And I'm ag wrong again. Store data. And obviously, I would have to set name. Well, that's quite obvious. Yeah. If I change the entire names here, uh, then always I would have to have to change it as well. And right and i also have to set memory so i think memory x doesn't yeah exactly yeah like i said string memory i guess yeah so like i said i'm quite new to all of this i'm like really bad at all of this but basically now i have a smart contract which stores a name uh i can set the name i can get the name and that's basically it. it's super simple super basic smart contract then i click on compile so my smart contract is compiled and now i will have to deploy it so i can deploy it to the normal uh conventional uh ethereum test nuts uh but in my case I we will click on injected web3 I click on that, so that's a little bit unfair because I couldn't see like how I logged in here basically. So we'll try to disconnect quickly if I can do that. So this one is active, can I disconnect this account? Okay, great. So oh, we'll try it one more time so that you can see how it looks actually. So if, if I click on injected web free, nope. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're ready and this one is inactive. Okay, we'll also have to disconnect that one as well if I can quickly do that. Connect it, disconnect. So I hope now it will pop up. So it when you click on it, so you go to environment and select inject work free. So the MetaMask opens, and now was we'll, now you select the account you've set up. For me, it's test the two accounts. So we'll go to continue uh, and then connect. And now I'm connected here. So now I can see here my account which I have there, and everything is set basically. Now we'll have to click on deploy. So now a new transaction opens, and I can deploy that smart contract which I wrote here so we'll have to cons confirm that and my st our smart contract has been deployed so we can see a simple storage i can set a string i can get the string and i can access the property name so for example i could set the string to xrp def str string string has been set for example uh, then it will do that and I have to sign the transaction again. So signing is a basic transaction again. And now uh, I can also get it. So we can see here the smart contract now stores XOP dev string has been set. And I can also, if we click on name because it's a property here, uh, I can see it there as well. Uh, also, I can just copy my account address and also look it up here to see what basically happened here. And we can see here that contract creation success. I was able to create my smart contract. And also I was calling a function of my smart contract, updating the name. 
So this was my first very short uh, smart contracting uh, video how you can deploy a smart contract to the Flare testnet. Uh, I hope you liked it. I will continue um, also making some simple basic programming tutorials about um, Solidity and how to do, well create smart contracts and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm also just diving into it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.